moving on to Gambia, seriously, what is going on with the new government, the new president? I don't understand because I heard last week that they arrested a lecturer of political science at the University of Gambia for expressing his opinion in an interview that he granted a local newspaper where he said that the president must do more to secure the trust of the army. So they arrested this man and detained him. And then, of course, by evening time, about 50 students had gathered outside the police station protesting his arrest. And by morning, hundreds of students had gathered. So would you guys believe that the same policemen who accused this lecturer of jeopardizing national security were literally begging him to leave by morning because they were so afraid of the students? I love the fact that the man refused to leave. He said he's not leaving until they tell him why he was detained and until they apologize publicly. I was like, damn! Thank God for the students of the University of the Gambia. Policemen are afraid of you guys. And you know, the man walked out as a hero and students were so happy that he was really shoo, Mr. President. <laughs> you really need to have some self-talk and some self-examination because it's only been a year that you became president and people are already saying that this was how Jermaine started. And you know, that's not a good thing. Also, I'd like to hear from Gambians. I've been hearing that Adama Baru promised before he became president that he will only do one term. Is this true? Because I'm hearing that the man is hinting that he will do another time after this one. And Baro now has a youth movement in his name, which some people are seeing as a way of him establishing his political base. And then I heard that he now has a foundation in his name, just like Yaya Jame did. Um, why shouldn't he have a foundation? Let me hear from you guys. Why is that a bad thing that he has a foundation in his name? I want to hear from you guys in Gambia. You guys don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. So before I sign out, another shout out to my people of Ghana. I've been getting a lot of love from my viewers in Ghana. Sending me nice outfits. Thank you so much. You know, do well. And please, please, my people, we're getting close to 100,000 subscribers. I have a lot of surprises for you guys when we get to 100,000 subscribers. So please, please subscribe. If you know anybody that is yet to subscribe, tell them to press the button and subscribe. All right, y'all. It's been real, and I'm keeping it real up in here. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next week, I'm going to see y'all later. Peace out.